Welcome to Tirano. First thing first, here's your earbud and radio. So, what next? We're here to case the railway station and to check the safe upstairs. There is a staff elevator at the end of the platform. We need a staff key card to access it. The team is waiting for you, and we'll talk you through it. Do get to know the station area and observe the people. Jesus, the bracket. Not just from the carousel. You do not care for kids? Not a big fan. Nope. Hey, Mr. Altamora. Please, call me Damiano. Oh, all right. Uh, anyway. What now? We need to procure an employee key card for the elevator. Scout out the area and find the rest of our team. Can you help me somehow? I can run distraction, the social kind. I have a certain kind of manner and gravitas, so people tend to listen to me. Bye. Very well. Right, so what am I supposed to... Yo! Welcome on board! Jesus, all right. Who am I talking to? It's Chip, yeah? I'll be your guide today. Head in, I'll link you up with the next guy. Chip is our computer and electronics expert. Where are you? In a base or something? Nah, blood. I'm in our mobile intrusion unit, also known as the clunky ass van by the street. Head in and spot the cameras. We're coming back to jerk the place later and need to get around them. Will do. Who am I meeting here? Hanjay. He's our muscle and pickpocket. Looks like they're renovating the station. That scaffolding looks promising. That is a good point of entry to consider when we come back at night. There's a camera here. Got it. Uh, I wish I had gone home early. <laughs> yeah, boss. You were pretty of a gun. Oh, I wish I could have come, but uh, the kid. We think it's an ear infection. I got two hours of sleep. Ugh. Again with this kid. Is that all you talk about nowadays? Why don't you head upstairs to sleep? Since you got the key. Nah. Just keep it down. And let me die in a piece. Altamora, can you create a scene with a the vendor there? Sure. Got it. Spotted a camera. Yeah. Found a camera. Check. Are you... Yes. 
Yes, and you owe that new American. We need an employee key card for the elevator. I think the guy with the orange vest has one. I want to see what you can do. Distract them for me, or figure out something else. Already got it. What? I stole it already. Well, good. Now head down the platform into the elevator and sneak in. There's a camera here. Got it. Spotted a camera. Yeah. I don't think I've ever taken the train. Yes, passenger travel is much more common and, dare I say, much more comfortable in Europe. Found a camera. Check. There's a camera here. Got it. Spotted a camera. Yeah. I guess that's all the cameras, yeah? I have the key card. Now I'll just have to sneak in unnoticed. Hold on. Waiting for your signal. Understood. I'm upstairs. Now what? Sonia, our safe cracker, is waiting outside by the window. Let her in. Hurry the hell up! I've been here for an hour pretending to paint the roof. Someone's gonna notice soon. Oh, there's a safe in the back room I have to check out. I'm not made for this sneaking shit. Just clear a way for me to the back room. And check for security devices upstairs, cameras and such, yeah? There's a security system keypad at the elevator lobby. Check if you can spot any sensors as such. Damn, I promised to make some coffee. The coffee making takes an eternity to warm up. The aquarium would make a good distraction, but I pity the fish too much. Before you ask, I'm not making it while you watch football. Hey Chip, there's motion sensors here. Looks like old passive infrared models. You nice. You know your stuff. This looks like the station master's office. There's quite a photo wall here. A dozen photos of Erasmo Nietzsche and Luca Conti. Erasmo became a station master, but Luca is suddenly a conductor. I wonder what happened there. Fascinating. But the safe? One man's luck was another's disaster, perhaps. A mystery we can consider later. This spans like 40 years. Quite the bromance. Looks like they studied to be engineers together.
Damn, I have no change. Hey, do you? No. I have eyes on the safe. Ooh, real useful. Now let me in to check it. I have eyes on the safe. Congratulations. Now get me there. The TV is blaring. There's a soccer game, I think. Hmm. I wonder who is playing. Play. What? No! Better pull the plug before it burns down the whole building. I got a dam, and there was a ten minutes left. <sighs> Might as well head back to work. Are you sure? Maybe a nap instead. I can see Sonia behind the window. Well then, can you see yourself clearing the way for me? Right, the coffee machine should be... Oh, hell. God damn it, I'm sure I tightened this. There's coffee grounds everywhere. Going to take forever to clean this mess. Come on, the coast is clear. Finally. Lead on. Right. Let me see. Oh, Whitaker Grumman 313. Piece of cake. We need to make sure we can open it. Wanna have a go? You'll need to be quick. Sure. Stand back. Well, that was underwhelming. I'll do it. Okay, that's it. We have all that we need. I'll see myself out through the window. Well done, everybody. Come back out, Celia. I will wait for you by the gate. Better take the elevator down. You jumping out of the window in your street clothes is rather conspicuous. Do not panic or run, Celia. Lose yourself in the crowds and head outside. Look out for the cameras. <laughs> I'm not panicking. I got this.
I can see you, Celia. Hurry, get into the car. Welcome to Casa Altamura, your home away from home in Turin. Oh, damn, nice. But a bit run down, isn't it? I prefer to say it's uh, romantically decayed. After all, la dolce vita he has witnessed. <laughs> Much like me, now that I think of it. But here we are. Let us go and meet the others. This is Chip, our hacker and forger. Hey, blood! Welcome to Italy, eh? Hope you don't mind running with some deep crims like me and... Oh, put a lid on it, Corbin. Oi, it's Chip. Thank you very much. Just shut up, will you? In any case, this is Sonia, our wills and safe cracker. whoop de doo Hello, Miss Master Thief. Welcome to Turin. Hope you're as good as they say you are. And this is Anje, our muscle and pickpocket. So that is the team you will be working with. The gardener took your things up to the loft. Welcome to Università di Altamura, Celia. We need to go through what we learned today. But first, let's bring Celia up to speed. This job is a commission and we will be paid 400,000 euros upon completion. A company called Seidler Catch is transporting valuable cargo to Switzerland on the Alpine Express train. It is an equipment case, the size of a briefcase, containing a fragile device. It will be stored overnight in the Tirano railway station safe. This is a two-man job. Celia will be the intrusion. We will choose the other team member later. Everything clear so far? Who's the client? Someone who prefers to stay anonymous. How do we know he'll fork out the dosh? I know him personally. He's very trustworthy. What are we stealing? We do not need to know that. We get it, we deliver it, we get paid. <laughs> Boy, will our faces be red when it turns out it was a hundred million euros worth of diamonds. What's the Alpine Express? It is a scenic train route across the Alps to Switzerland. Maybe we can take it after the job. So, what did we learn about the security? Chip? Dank. Total rubbish. Celia spotted us a route through the cameras outside. No problem there. As for the upstairs, Celia? There are old IR sensors and a keypad next to the elevators. Can't we just turn the alarm off? Can't you hack it or something? Nah, the thing's practically analog. You need to enter the code with the keypad to turn it off. We need a code then, or to sneak past the detectors. If it's just passive IR, we can mask my body heat and I can just walk past them. You can do that with a pane of glass, but I'm not lugging one with me. Thing is, if you wear a space day... blanket, yeah, I was just going there. Damn, Redmond really taught you something. Just wear a space blanket and vent the body heat somewhere the eye I won't see. Sounds nuts, but if you both say so. Any input here, Damiano? I have a question for all of you. What is the easiest way to get through a locked door, Celia?
Just find a way around it. Yes, very good. But for the purposes of this lesson, we need to go through that door. The easiest way to open a locked door is to pressure the person who has the key. What's this have to do with the alarm code? Oh, right. So, who are we gonna lean on? The person with the key, or the alarm code in this case, is the station master Erasmuniki. Correctly persuaded, he can even call the station for us and thin out the security. Do we have any more intel on the guy? Intel? <laughs> are we in Fallujah? Mr. Niki is in his 50s, lives alone, and seems to be a very ordinary kind of man. So, do we have any leverage on this Mr. Nietzsche? Therein lies the trouble. He lives for, the lack of a better word, a very dull life. No vices, no family, nothing like that. I don't see the problem. Let's slap him around and threaten to come back. Simple. I like it. Hmm. I might have an idea. Where does he live? Mr. Nicky lives alone in a house of his own, south of the river. It is a quiet neighborhood, even by Tirano's standards. Good. We can work without interruptions. Uh, Blood, the way you say work makes me worried. Hmm, can we make up some blackmail material? Chip? How about you dig up some sick shit from the net and hack it to his computer? My idea exactly! Except why hack? Can't you just break in and copy the stuff on his computer? That's... pretty elegant, actually. I mean, we need to break in there in any case to have a little chat. Too complicated. I agree, let's just slap him around. No, let's try to do this without violence. Hmm, have it your way. Excellent. We're not thugs, after all. As good as that non-violent sounds, thugs get the job done. This sounds unnecessarily difficult. Celia is right, and the final decision is mine. No violence. Bangin! I'll start looking for some peak stuff, yeah? Before Celia chooses who goes with her, are there any more questions? What can we do about the camera surveillance? Pop into the security center and snatch the tapes? That's it? That's it. What about the human component? Are there going to be guards in the station? According to my local contacts, ordinarily, no. A patrol would visit a place a couple of times per night. However, the company may have insisted on additional security for this occasion. So we'll see when we'll see. Gotcha. How do we crack the safe? Sonia, should I clear the way for you, or what? <laughs> I ain't no ninja. I'll just leave the sneaking around in a tinfoil tunic to you. You will have to do it sooner or later, Sonia. I'll go with later, thanks. The box is dirt simple. The master thief there can handle it. I can be on standby if not. I think that's the gist of it. As for who to take with me, it's hard to say, since I don't really know you. A good point. We have some time, so feel free to settle down. Get back to me before evening. Is this a painting of Turin? Oh, yes it is. From the 18th century. I don't really know much about Turin. I haven't had the time to do any research. Ah, Turin. The cradle of Italian liberty. And the home of some outstanding thieves. Also, the city of black magic and the devil, if you believe in such things. What was that about outstanding thieves? Well, 
us, to start with, of course. But yes, there are other well-known crews operating from here. Like the Antwerp Diamond Heist crew. Shame about the last-minute hitch that got him caught. There are also those who do not appreciate the elegance of a great heist. Ugly, brutal people. Sans arms, ni ain, ni violence. Words to live by. Right. Don't know if I should even ask, but... Black magic and the devil? Oh, yes. The city is supposed to be full of satanic, pagan, and masonic symbolism. Also, the city apparently forms magical triangles with Lyon, Prague, London, and San Francisco. If you fancy a day trip to hell, there is supposed to be a gateway there in Piazza Statuto. As a Catholic, I do not put much stock in that stuff. How about the Seventh Commandment? Nah, me and God, we stay away from each other's business. I do not save souls, and he looks the other way when I do my work. So who was Italy liberated from? Was there an invasion or an occupation? Like, from the Nazis? <laughs> no, it's a, a bit more complicated than that. Risorgimento, we call it. Italian unification. For a long time, there wasn't Italy as such. Just many shifting kingdoms and states. They did not get unified until the 19th century. Turin was the home for many of the politicians and influencers who made this unification possible. <laughs> the more you know. Never really thought about how Roman times turned into modern Italy. The old world definitely packs culture into its cities. We do have cafes in Turin older than the United States. No need to be smug about it. What is this? An American telling me not to be smug about my home country? <laughs> Hey, is this where we are now? This villa, I mean. Oh yes, that was taken in the 1930s. The villa was abandoned for a while after the war, before I acquired it. Actually, I'd like to hear more about this place. As you say, a little round down, yes? Well, it's seen better days, right? Oh, certainly she has. But perhaps the glory days are still to come. That's a nice way to think about it. And every year, she becomes more beautiful, as I afford more repairs. It's gotta be like, what, a hundred years old? Oh, my dear. This villa, she was built before there was a United States of America. Really? Wow. Okay. I guess she's held up real well, then. So is this like a family villa, then? In a sense, yes. It was built by Deltamuras. Must have been a pretty great place to grow up. I really couldn't say. My own childhood was far less glamorous. Wouldn't know by looking at you. The villa really suits you. Grazie, Celia. That is kind of you to say. It'd be real easy to get used to views like these. Telescope. Wonder if it works. Telescope. Wonder if it works. These guys remind me of the library lions in New York. But these are a little older, though. Dubstep, huh? Gotta have that big whoop, Joe! <laughs> Can't really picture you at a rave. Hey, I might be the hacker, but I ain't just some neek. So you're... Hey, Celia. 
So you work for the legend, the man himself. What's it like? Working with Redmond? Nah, the Pope, of course, Redmond. Frankly, it's not easy. You drop straight into the deep end, and you need to manage. You end up learning fast, or you flunk out. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Sick! Does everyone in the UK sound like you now? Nah, it's just us man hoodies and rude boys trying to be current. I think I'm gonna have to repeat Damiano here and ask you to stick with English. Uh, no problem. I guess I can lay it on thick like. But yeah, it's what you hear around London now. You're from London then? Nah, from the conch. But London's where I got wise. How's it been working here? With Altamura, I mean. Bossman's a bit weird, isn't it? But he knows his stuff. What do you mean, weird? Like he's living in the 40s. Or maybe the 1840s. That Hanjay guy doesn't come across as very... hospitable. <laughs> yeah, the man is intense. Hell of a pickpocket, isn't it? Bit small to be the muscle, though. I'll give you a hundred pounds if you go and say that to his face. I'll pass. Not that we need muscle much. All tomorrow is all about non-violence and shit. So, Sonia, not the most patient person, is she? Hell no! She's been riding my ass right from minute one. But apart from that, I guess I trust her on the field, yeah. Are you what passes for gangsta in your neck of the woods? What you saying? Playing around with computers, wearing a grandpa hat. Grandpa hats? These are the freshest garms, swear down. I'll take your word for it. The ones I can understand, at least. Oh, you tested me now. Okay, if you want to play like that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you flirting with me? Is that what this is about? You're well paying, but you're used to a little ting sing. Really? There's leagues here, and I don't think we're in the same one. Oh, so I'm just the next man. It's okay. You just need a moment to appreciate the chip. I'll appreciate you showing me some of those computer skills out in the field. So, your job here is to, um, hack the mainframe? <laughs> Rah! Love cannot believe you just said that! It was a joke, come on. Whew! Wouldn't want to think a buff thing like you was all dry. Excuse me? I mean, you leave the bad jokes to me and stay lush. I think I can do that. I guess you're not burning up to join me in the field, though. Not when the field is outside the van. You want Sonia or Hanje for that? Catch you later. Safe. What's this? Oh, that. I virtualized a few systems there to see how to hack them, yeah? Mind if I have a go at this? Oh, go ahead. Do your worst. Okay, let's see what we have here. You got in! Ra, that was a surprise! Dubstep, huh? Gotta have that big whoop, Joe! The butterflies have faded over the decades, but those huge beetles look ready to just skitter out of there. Ugh, goosebumps. They are dead and behind the glass. Wow, looks like some sort of marine dinosaur. Hello there. Yes? I 
I think we did good in the station, especially with me getting such a cold start. Yes. Are you expecting a medal for doing your job? Oh, come on. Who peed in your cereal this morning? Well, okay. It was a little test for you, and you didn't do badly with me. So, you're the muscle and the pickpocket, huh? There must be a story behind that. They're just what I learned to do best. You didn't blow Toronto, so I guess Redman taught you something. But what are you supposed to be best in? I'm a pretty natural cat burglar. I don't mind heights, and I got the build for acrobatic breaking and entering. Of course, in Redmond's crew, you end up doing pretty much everything. Social engineering, lock picking, safe cracking, picking pockets, sometimes all in one job. Good. We need a cat burglar. Can't kick in every door. Have you been in the life for long? Long enough. We are going to work together. I need to know more about you. How many jobs have you pulled before this? Three. Two with Redmond's crew and one solo. Assisted with a couple more. Some social engineering and b &E. And the jobs went well? A bit of A, a bit of B. You know how it goes. I know, yes. You made a mess of it and don't want to say it. Well, that wasn't quite where I was going. What's your angle on this station job? Angle? Yeah, I mean, what do you think of the plan? I think I will follow it, even if I would choose to be more direct. You trust Altamora's reasoning, though? If I did not, I would no longer be here. Well, see you later. So this is what Turin looked like in the 18th century. Nice shot. Who's this guy next to you? Ah oh, yes, that would be Jack. We took that picture before Lisbon. You mean that bank job? No, no. Far too crude for me. This was an art heist. Oh, yeah. The Botello sketches, right? That one was pretty cool. Is your practice safe? Yeah. Want to have a go? Sure. All right, let's see. Okay, now listen for short silences while gently rotating to find the right spot. Hi, oh, you got it. <laughs> Nicely done. If it ain't Miss Master Thief, something I can do for you? You could cut the attitude. We're both here to do a job and lay off that Miss Master Thief crap. A job that maybe you can do or maybe you can't. I don't know. Based on it, eh? <laughs> Not holding my breath. I can hold up my end, Sonia. Can you? What? Are you seriously questioning me here? You bet I am, sister. I haven't seen much from you yet, either. Wow. Just wow. I see where you're coming from. And I think we're done here.
Something I can help you with? We're the only two Americans here, then? Yeah, so don't screw things up for us now. I've never been this far away from home before. Yeah? You got someone waiting for you back there? Yeah, I got a kid, but don't spread that around, okay? You're a mom? Well, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Must get tricky, huh? Yeah, I, I got my sis to take care of him. I see. Don't know a lot of people with kids in this scene. Most just fly solo. What's up with that chip guy? He's a bit... much. Mr. Corbin Tavistock lives his one-man ship show. Is that his real name? Seriously? Yeah. You really want to smack him so often, but the guy knows his stuff. So, worth tolerating. So far, yeah. Our muscle seems to be a regular ray of sunshine. Tell me about it. I made an innocent crack about something, and he damn near bit my face off. Thanks for the warning. So, where's he actually from? He's from Korea. The not batshit crazy one. Takes his nationality quite seriously, among other things. No family types in this little group, huh? Eh, yeah, not really. Chip has his chick of the week, and Damiano's apparently wooing some lady somewhere. And Hanje? If he's got something going on, you or I will never hear about it. Me? Well, I know my way around enough to make things interesting for myself. Italian stallions, huh? <laughs> A girl's gotta have hobbies, right? Can't argue with that. So, locks and cars are your thing, huh? <laughs> yep. And sometimes locks in cars. That's how I met Redmond. Really. Try to boost his ride. Seriously? <laughs> it's hilarious. So, are the stories true? How do you mean? What stories? Are you shitting me? I mean, has he really done all those heists? And just between you and me? Yeah, almost all of them. God damn. Seriously, though, what's your history, job-wise? That chip guy said something about racing? I've done enough to know my business, if that's what you're asking. Altamura trusts me, and that should be enough here. This station job, any thoughts? Well, Damiano can kind of overthink things sometimes. You mean he doesn't like brute force? <laughs> Call it what you like. More moving parts means more ways to mess up. I'll do my part not to. Hope to see the same from you. I'll get back to you later. Hello, C. How you settling in? Hey, yourself. Everything's cool, by and large. How's the team? Well, it's different from what I'm used to with you, but I'll manage. The boss is a bit of a weird one, though. I don't know. Let me tell you a story, C. I love story time. Shush. Now, years back, I met this guy, Walker. He looked like he just got off a stagecoach. And when he told us he had a plan for a big score, me and James were skeptical, to say the least. I mean, this plan was wild. Nothing about it was by the book. It was a goddamn work of art. So, I guess it worked? And you're damn right it worked. And so did the half dozen that followed. So, I'm guessing what you're saying here is bet on weird? I'm saying you have to look deeper. Altamura is solid. I wouldn't deal with them otherwise. Okay. Hmm. Cool.
Ah, Celia. How can I help? So, about these guys. Yes. Who is it that has you curious? The lad from London. Chip, yes. He certainly has his way with words, though most of them are foreign to me. Am I going to have to lock my door at night here? Oh, no. no. He may seem a little much, but underneath is a boy to take home to Mom. Really? Him? There is much more than meets the eye there. Don't be too cruel with him. Okay. No guarantees, though. He doesn't behave himself. The short and silent one. Ah, yes, Sanjay. He's not what you call chatty, but he's very much a professional. Muscle and pickpocket, though? Unusual combination. Well, admittedly so, but a natural one for him. How do you mean? He might speak of it with you sometime. Also, he likes a certain firmness in people he deals with. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. What's the deal with Sonia? She has been the only American here, and in this team, the only woman. What? I make her less unique or something? It's not that. But in this world of men, she has learned to advance through confrontation. I did detect just a hint of attitude. With Sonia, it's better to bow than to break. All right, then. Redmond didn't tell me too much about you, Damiano. Just that you're a friend. And it is an honor. Well, yeah, but who exactly are you, and what is it you do here? Huh. Straight to the point, yes? But allow me to tell you about the Universidad di Altamura first. Okay. In this business, the young are easily taken advantage of. I give them a fair chance, and an education. So what do you do? Safes? Oh, no, no. My talents are far more general than that. I know the trade, and how to survive in it, even flourish. And all out of the goodness of your heart? Mm, in so many words, yes. Also, the villa does need a little more work. <laughs> You're an odd one, Mr. Altamora, but I think I like you. So, about casing the Tirano station. What was that all about? It felt almost like I was set up to fail. Ah, there was nothing sinister behind that. The others just wanted to see how good you are. Are they afraid that I'll steal their thunder or something? Well, they've been working with a very high-profile team before this. Here, it is not very common. The people in my teams can be from very humble backgrounds. Hmm, right. Makes sense, I guess. I guess the local police isn't too bothered by you running this school. It is a testament to the discretion of the ones I choose to join us here. Just that? There's also a tradition of respecting villas such as this, and understanding of privacy. And? And the chief does appreciate the black label Iberico ham I present him with every now and then. Knew it. Is that a dinosaur skeleton in Hanjay's little gym? Ah, yes. Vespasiano's folly. That's... Wait, that can't be a dinosaur species, can it? Vespasiano Altamura was my grandfather's half-brother's father, an enthusiastic amateur paleontologist. Enthusiastic, but alas, <laughs> very much an amateur. He was so proud of that purchase. Nobody had the heart to tell him it is mostly whale and hippo bones and plaster. Ouch. Remind me, what was the plan again? We shall go to the station master's house, insert scandalous material on his computer, and persuade him. He will give us the safe combination and call the station to clear away some security. 
You can then, with relative ease, sneak inside the station and retrieve the case. Sounds simple, when you put it like that. All right, I'm ready to go. You have settled down and talk with everyone you want to? Well then, everyone, please come gather up. I now know who I need to help me. With a station master, I need muscle, just in case. With a station heist... I could use a lockpicking pro with technical skills. Sonia? Well, whoop de do. Very good. You will first take care of the station master with Hanji, and Sonia will then join you at the station. I suggest you all have an early night. We will go through the gear in the morning and pack the van. You coming with tomorrow? I will see you to coordinate. Chip will patch me in on your radio. But now, time to rest. <laughs> 